Welcome to a tutorial on how to set up your WebQuest template for your final WebQuest project. Now, I've gone ahead and gone to sites.google.com and I am in Chrome, which means that on the left hand side, there was a little link there that said uh, new Google sites and that brought me to this particular page. Now, I already have my mid excuse me, my MSCT portfolio page here. And I now need to create a new website. Um, that's going to be our web quest. So I'm going to click on our plus button down here. And it's going to give me a new web site. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. And I'm going to, for the sake of this particular sample, just call it web quest. And I'm going to call it web quest up here. Now, ideally you're going to give it an appropriate name. Um, this particular page functions as the home. So you could even call this, sorry, over here, web quest home. Um, that may be a little bit too verbose and uncreative, but, um, it's, it's something that you can anchor your head around in terms of that's what this particular thing is. Now, through our course page, I have directed you and given you plenty of resources that tell you that every web quest has certain pages. It has a home page, introduction, task, process, evaluation, conclusion, teacher page, and credits. And I've given you a lot of information that speaks to what kind of content goes on each of those pages. That's not what this particular tutorial is all about. This tutorial is just to set up these various pages. So what I want to do is I want to come over here. This is in effect my home page, and now I need to create an introduction task process, etc. page. So now I'm going to come over here to my Google site. I'm going to click on pages and I'm going to use the hyperlink to create a new page and I'm going to call it introduction done. And there's my introduction page. And I'm going to uh, create a task page and I'm going to create a process page. And there are plenty of ways to create sub pages as we go along. And I will be doing another tutorial on how to do those sub pages. But for the moment, go ahead and finish out your particular pages in terms of each of the pages you need to have in place for your web quest. Okay. Now I've created all of the pages for this particular web quest. Now I want to go and grab the web quest template, the content template um, to put on these pages so that as I am working my way through developing my web quest, I've got the template in place and that will help remind me what content goes where. I have shared out with you via a, our course page our web quest master template content. And once you get to this particular link, you'll see that I even have the direction set up all the pages within the Google sites, name them appropriately, and then copy and paste each of the individual chunks below to each of the individual pages. So on the home page, you need to put this particular chunk of information. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back to my home page. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to click on text box and I'm going to paste and I can go ahead and publish. Um, I have not uh, published this as of yet. So web quest sample oops. and I'm going to click on publish and there's that particular content. Now, I can navigate to my next page by clicking on my uh, navigation bar across the top or alternately I could just go to pages and click on introduction. But now what I need to do is go back to my uh, content area or my master template. I'm going to highlight and copy the introduction. I'm going to go to that introduction page. I'm going to go to my text box 
and I'm going to paste it. And um, I'm going to do one more as an example for you. I'm going to go to my task page. I'm going to go to the uh, master template area. I'm going to highlight and copy the task information. I'm going to go to my Google site, go to insert text box, and I'm going to paste the content. I'm going to go ahead and finish those pieces up for you and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, and I am now resuming this video to show you that I have all of the content in place and also show you and give you a couple of tips on some of the um, unusual pages. So for example, under the evaluation, the original WebQuest template had the evaluation in a major table um, such as this. So that does not translate very well over to a Google website. So what I'm going to ask you to do here is once you get to the evaluation template page, what you're going to do is you're going to open this drive link. You're going to come to this. And what I recommend you do is do a control A or a command A and then uh, do an edit um, copy which is a command C or a control C. And then what I would recommend you do is you make a new um, document or you could just simply make a copy of this document. But you're basically going to make a copy of the document that is in your particular drive. You're going to paste that content. And one of the other things I did is I'm going to just call this my web quest rubric is I went ahead and I did a page setup of landscape. That just gave me a little bit more elbow room um, to play with uh, word spacing, et cetera. Now, however you want to set up your rubric is up to you, but um, the table is a nice feature. It's just that it doesn't play well in Google Sites, so you do have to set it up as a Google Doc. So how do you get this particular document into um, your uh, web quest over here. All you need to do is now that it's part of your drive, you're going to simply uh, come in here and you can either embed it as a doc here um, or you could embed it from drive. They do function slightly differently. Um, I'm going to choose this one. That's the one I just did. My web quest uh, rubric and insert that. And there it is. And I can even make it larger so that uh, more of it's visible. Um, and that's how you get that particular piece in there. And if I go over to my teacher page, the only note that I want to point out to you here is that once you copy and paste it, you may have to do a little bit of cleaning up of format. Now I've already started doing that, but notice here how this is kind of tucked in a little bit here and here. These are not subtopics. These are topics in their own right. So to get them to move out, I'm going to click on, or I'm going to highlight performance objectives. It is a subheading, but the translation from copy paste didn't quite work the way it should have. So I just have to go back to my subheadings and relabel them as subheadings, and then they will bounce out. So for example, here, I'm going to just click on them and make that a subheading. And you should go ahead and do that just to visually uh, clean this whole thing up. Um, and then go ahead and publish it. Now, the next tutorial that I'm going to go through is how to link this particular web quest to your MSCT portfolio. So I will see you in a minute.